humanity's sin in its most grotesque form. She concludes that Jesus does not conquer sin through death on the cross. Instead, salvation can be found in God through Jesus, giving humankind a new vision to see resources for positive, abundant, relational life. Another theologian argues that by, not, by denying that the cross plays any role while most feminists do not go as far as Williams by denying that the cross plays any role in salvation, many still recognize the problems with the sacrificial language used to describe the cross and propose a very compelling alternative model. In her essay, Mary Stewart writes in Maternal Sacrifice as a hermeneutics for the cross, she recounts the story of her pregnancy and giving birth. She suggests that a maternal model of sacrifice, which does not involve death, and yet it still involves sacrifice, is a better way to understand the redemption offered in Christ. And you women can, can agree with this who are mothers. The mother suffers and sacrifices her own body to give life to the child. And according to feminist theologians, this is called the life for life model, as opposed to the sacrificial model of the daddy blood, the daddy, the, the bloody death of Christ on the cross. And so they argue that the life for life model trumps the mentality in the West, which glorifies death and keeps us from questioning the normativity of sacrificial suffering. In this understanding, Jesus' death is no longer necessary for redemption, but rather it is his life which gives, which gives us life. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Yes. Come on, come on, what does the cross mean to you? Who's right? Who's wrong? Is the cross inherently salvation? Is atonement theory right? And most importantly, let's get to the nitty gritty. Does this cross stuff work for us as gay black people? The idea of sacrifice and abuse and your body being beaten. The idea that your body is to be pummeled and whipped. Are you putting yourself on the cross when you don't use common? is the great father of black theology, and another theologian, Peter Abelard. Abelard argues, and I agree, that the death on the cross was not necessary in that, and hear this this morning, God could have chosen any number of ways to save us without the cross. See, and, and, and as black people, we really need to get this. Because what they taught us was that the, 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 the poorer you were, the more sanctified you were. They taught us the more beat down you were, the more Jesus that you had. And, and, and the more that you suffered. Uh, it's one thing to be on welfare, but if you were on welfare and had food stamps, you were really annoying. Because we've internalized the idea that Jesus needed the cross to save us. The bottom line is all he had to do was speak a word to separate time and save us if he chose to do so. All he had to do was send the wind to save us if he chose to do so. 